Good morning. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my what sold for the weekend of New Year's, which would be December 30th through January 1st, that Friday through Sunday. And I've got some amazing sales to share with you only on eBay again, but I had just turned all the vacation modes off that weekend. Um, but I'm still surprised I didn't th sell anything on there, but I did start selling quite a bit. And then this weekend, this weekend's been crazy for Mercari and Etsy. So, but before we get started, y'all, I told you I haven't been feeling well this weekend. And contrary to Robert's little man flu comment, yesterday I woke up really sick, 102 fever. I really thought I had strep throat. So he took me to urgent care three years y'all three years i have not been sick at all everybody in my house has had every thing going around and i got my first covid um diagnosis so i'm feeling okay right now i'm on medication um but my voice is a little odd because i don't know it just kind of feels odd but i figured i'd go ahead this is a lesson learned, though, that I have got to get videos banked. You know, we did some for while we were on vacation, but we used all of them up. So, lesson learned, I need to bank videos to share with you guys when I'm, I'm under the weather. I thought it might be funny to put Robert in here to do this video, but, yeah, I'm okay. But, yeah, man flu. So, only eBay, but I got some nice sales. Um, this first item is a Denny Ice Crusher. Um, model 6000. I'm pretty sure we picked this up at an estate sale. Um, sold for $26.05. We're always looking at the um, used, like small appliances. All right, Manhattan Toy. I love that brand. This is a um, Bear plush from 2019. It sold for best offer of $16. Vintage Kenner. Spyro Tot drawing toy. Kind of like, well, Spirograph, but I think it was on a smaller, like for younger children. Um, 1974. I've had it listed a while. Probably paid a dollar or two at an estate sale. Sold for $14.95. Cascade Toy Monkey Hand Puppet. The person who sent me the offer said they were going to use this as a golf club cover. Now, a lot of times when I buy something that specifically is a golf club cover, I usually will say hand puppet also. But, you know, you got to remember that sometimes puppets are what they're going to use to cover up their golf clubs. It sold for best offer of $17. Aurora Condor Bird Plush. Google Lens told me what it was. I don't know if I would have known. But anytime, I pick up all Auroras, and the small plush do really well for me. This one sold for $11.66. Royal Dalton Expressions Coffee Cup. Pick these up at an estate sale. Um, all the mugs and all the knickknacks, I think, were like a dollar each. It sold for $12.55. A lot of times when I do comps on coffee mugs, if I see others that had the original box with it, if I remember, I'll put in there that I do not have the box because every once in a while you get that person who thinks they've looked at a ton of these, they saw that it had a box in somebody else's listing and then they buy yours and they're like, where's the box? So a lot of times I'll put no box. Pokemon trading card game battle arena decks. We picked up three of these at the Prison to Profit um, conference that we went to when we went to the bins there. Everything was seven dollars. Um, we were just supporting the the business that opened up, you know, up for us just to kind of have some fun and, you know, do some more networking. We gave one away as a gift to a little boy at our co-op. Um, Robert said he was just getting into playing Pokemon and he'd come out and show his dad all the cards that he'd gotten that day. So Robert gifted him a box. Um, and then we sold these two, the last two for $30 total. Young Living White Bear Plush. I, 
probably pick this up at um, the bins at some point. Nice find. If you find anything that's Young Living like this, definitely check the um, comps on it. This um, plush sold for $43.25. Red Lobsters. None of these were going to be great individually, so I just decided to put the three of them together. Um, I think one was a Mart, one was Fun Street, and one was a tie. Sold for $14.50. Fisher Price Little People. This is a Sesame Street Big Bird's Nest. This came from the Highway 127 sale that I picked up that large lot. Um, I ended up with two of these nests. I got like three and four of each of some of the characters. Um, it was such an excellent find. This nest sold for $13.45. These, I think we showed these recently. Oh, we might not even release this video yet. We, I'm trying to think. Maybe we did. I don't know. But we bought three boxes of HO scale train accessories, not the trains themselves, but the train accessories. Yes, I remember doing comps on this. So yes, we've shown you guys the video already. Um, I had all of that processed to work on during our vacation and then come to find out. I don't know what was wrong, but eBay said that when you're in time away, you can't list and it fall under your vacation settings. So I got all of this stuff listed when I got back home. This was the first item that sold, and it was actually an international sale. It sold for $9.95. It's a Burlington Mills factory construction kit. Gorham Ariana dishes. Man, we've sold the heck out of that. Robert, I want to say paid like $75 for a large lot of these and we sold a whole bunch at the beginning when I got them listed and then it's just kind of trickled off for a while and then I think probably my last watch sold there was one then we sold this coffee mug for ten dollars and 99 cents and then since then we've sold another item so it's just kind of you know rats rock angels guitar chair heart stand I bought just a box of brats and monster high and stuff and this was in there these two pieces sold for twelve dollars and seventy eight cents pokemon jigglypuff plush this is from game freak 1998 i picked up several of these i want to say maybe at the bins in Asheville, um but this one just sold for thirteen dollars and forty five cents this is a vegetable salt or pepper shaker. I didn't have both, so I just listed it. Or um, from Japan, anthropomorphic. The thing is, Robert knocked a box of stuff off the shelf when we were reorganizing out there, and this was in that box. Everything, I think but two items, shattered. But luckily this one didn't. But yeah, all the Homco broke if I didn't say it this sold for $13.45 this is Russ Bunsey brown rabbit small four inch plush always check these y'all because you know some people might think this was only going to be bread and butter and when I picked it up I probably thought it was only going to be bread and butter but $25.60 for a little brown rabbit by Russ We picked up just a pencil lot. A lot of them um, I sold already was the ones with the like the square eraser on the end. Somebody told me that's so that they don't roll. But these four mechanical pencils were in that lot um, by Pentel. I got a best offer of $14 and I let it go. I think everything in the bottom of the Ikea bag that day they charged me $2 for. So... Build-A-Bear, Rainbow, Jaguar, Leopard, Plush. Like I said, a lot of Build-A-Bear for me is bread and butter. This one sold for $8.96. Kelly Toy. 
um, Gray Hippo from 2020. A lot of times if you look at the second tag on Kelly Toy, it'll tell you the year that it was manufactured. I like to put that in there um, because somebody might be looking for a specific year, but also it helps me to figure out if I can put it on Etsy. So if I can find a date on anything, I put it in my listing so that I know anything 2004 or before 2004 can get listed on Etsy as vintage. This hippo sold for $13.45. Gerber, I love that brand. Um, vintage little plush. It was a Pika Bunny. It said that right there on the little bib. Um, sold for $27.50. Don't be afraid to make higher prices on your vintage stuff, especially if you can't find any others on there. A lot of times I list them $25.30 even higher. I mean, I sometimes I pick 80, 90, 100 dollars. Don't be afraid to. You know, somebody's going to make you an offer and then that's when you have to go. All right, is it is is that worth because you know a lot of these I've only paid like a quarter or 50 cents for. Hallmark Ramona. This is from the Rodney Reindeer series. Always pick these up. I list them anywhere from 15 to 20 dollars. This one sold for $17.95. These next two was from a single buyer. It's vintage Fisher Price Little People. This is the wood bodied, wood, no, plastic head, I think. Um, but they're the freckle face little boy and girl with the pan head. They sold just the two for $22.45. And then the buyer also purchased this little set. This was in a little bit worse condition. Still list them. These two from the Jetport um, set sold for $11.66. This was a different buyer, but this is from the, um, I'm pretty sure this came from the Castle set that I purchased at the Highway 127 sale. Um, when you're looking at these little people sets, there's a white harness that doesn't have the scallops on the end. That goes to the barn set. It doesn't sell for as much. This one does go to the castle. Um, as you can see, there's scallops on it. It sold for $22.45. American Eagle, I like picking them up. We pay a dollar or less usually for them. I think we average out to like $1.50 on most jeans that we purchase, you know, just yard sales and then the thrift stores and stuff. Um, this jeggings pair sold for $12, best offer. These, I, I'm not sure if maybe sh this was in the gift lot that came from Shannon. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this was in a state sale find. It all gets... In my brain but I know I just listed it recently um, but this was some vintage postcards they were Snow White Winnie the Pooh and Jiminy Cricket they sold for $13.45 I these look to be like like fake Barbies but definitely if you ever see dolls that look like this check the back they'll say Briar they always sell for me very quickly um, she even had like her pants were dirty, but she's riding a horse. Maybe that's how it came. I don't know. But even, and I don't try to fix their hair. You know, it kind of looks frizzy. Again, let people who know what they're doing restore them. She still sold for $9.37. Sorry about my voice. This, I ain't even started on the other two that we bought at the Prison to Profit. This was, um, we bought a ACOK, A-I-C-O-K, -A -A Masticating Juicer, um, and I parted it out, and I've sold several pieces already. This was just the pum, pumice, pumice cup, pumice cup, sold for $8.96. Y'all. I tell you, look for Little Tykes vintage dishes. Um, I don't find this very often, but I almost always get at least $30 for them. This is the coffee carafe pitcher 
from the little kitchen center that's like toddler size. $30 for this picture. I think I picked this up also the weekend of the Prison to Profit when we stopped at the Goodwill bins there. This from my little favorite estate sale company that we go to. Um, it's missing its arms. I think it's supposed to also have like wings on the back. Still pick it up. It's vintage um, die cast metal. Um, but it's called a Shogun Warriors Mazinga. Even missing its arms, it sold for $30 best offer. Coldwater Creek. I think I just saw somebody on Facebook asking if Coldwater Creek is a good brand to sell. You know, I think it's an okay brand. We probably picked this up for a dollar or two. Um, and look, it sold for $42.45. It was a wool, blue and gray, like, sweater thing. Year of the Rabbit. I think this was one of my first sales on um, January 1st. It was an MTY International. You know, I, I pick up a lot of those hoppity hopster rabbits. They're the same brand. This was a large 22 inch rabbit. It sold for $44.06. Bonsai. Those books have been amazing. I think this might be the last Bonsai. And then he picked up that weekend um, some like woodworking books that I've got listed really high because they were signed. This one was inscribed and signed inside. Crazy. Paid $2 for it. It sold for $59.80. And then a big sale. Big sale for that weekend. The third. Remember, I bought four of these. This is the third one to sell. This is a Mattel Saucy Expressions doll from 1972. She worked um, $134.96. Let me see. Let me play the video for you guys. Creepy. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. Watch her eyes. They're moving. Her mouth is moving. Look at that. <laughs> All right. That was it. I love that doll. One more to go. That was amazing. So I did pay $20 for each of them. Well, a little less because I ended up getting a bulk deal on everything I bought that day. I want to say I spent like 80, no, a hundred some dollars that day, but I don't know. All right. I'm going to save my voice. I don't think I'm going to do another video today though. Um, but I had to get something out. I had to share my sales with you guys. Um, but hopefully by tomorrow I'll be up to getting back to work, but you guys can get to work.